show you the uh, sled that I built for doing fretting. And what I got is I've got a DeWalt portable uh, table saw and I've got the Stumac blade in here. And then I went ahead and built a sled for the fretting, uh, the, the fretboard. I used the, the fretting templates from Stumac as well. And those work out really well. And essentially, you know, you get the sled positioned over the blade and you can just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there's a little pin right here that's offset about uh, a quarter inch, a little bit more than a quarter inch above the fret uh, where the fretboard sits. And then the template moves across the pin each time you want to do another fret slot. And what's really important when you build a sled is that you've got the sled at least as big as the table, you know, at least on a smaller source. So that way there's no movement. And so I created some oak uh, rails. And then I drew some lines and I put the, uh, you know, at a 90 degree angle to make sure I got it lined up. I screwed it in, I screwed it down. And then the other trick, you get the thicker blade to cut through so you don't power through. And then I've got, you know, the back and the front fret very quickly uh, to any scale. And what's nice is I can get the optimal fret height uh, with the up and down lever here. Be real clear as you're fretting, you wanna go through, you wanna go through. Uh, you don't wanna push all the way through, you don't obviously need to do that, but you wanna make sure that you at least get to the edge of the board so you don't get any uh, nipping. And then the other piece is that what's sticking through here from the frets isn't any bigger so you don't get any tear out. That's really important. You know, on this back side, I turn the jig around and I use this for my kerfing. If I've got the space here like I do now, you'll get tear out on some of your real brittle wood uh, if you're using a brittle fretboard. Uh, sometimes ebony, some pieces of ebony will tear out. Um, so this is a dual uh, saw for me because, you know, or sled because I use it for kerfing and I also use it for fretting. I got the thicker for kerfing and I've got the, the fretting and it, it works really well. I'm really, really happy with this, with this setup. I can, I can burn through a bunch of fretboards really quick. Uh, each sled that you guys will make will, you know, will depend on uh, the spacing between the rails. You know, this fretboard jig is six inches wide here, so I can do, you know, a couple different lengths, six inches here, and then these, you know, all the supports are big enough to, you know, this thing's not going to move as I'm moving it back and forth. Real safe jig, real easy to do.